It broke down your confidence so much that here comes self-doubt. What did I do? Where do I lie? Where am I? You know what I mean? You start to look at yourself differently. You start to question the person who you always thought that you were. And I had to ask myself, Stacy, this feeling of doubt is really showing that that confidence that you said you had, that you were walking like you had, was completely fraudulent. Because if it was actually real, it wouldn't have come down. Just like that. But instead, you're sitting here and you're questioning yourself. The same person you've known for 20 years of your life, you don't know who she is anymore. You're not eating, but you're working out every day. To achieve what? Me, I don't know. You're depressed, you're staying in bed all day. And all because of what? It literally had me thinking that this situation that I'm in, I can actually never, never, ever, ever in this life allow myself to feel the way that I felt that time. But the feeling of letting somebody come into my home, into my own mental space and break me down to the point where I'm even questioning a person who I've always known, who I've always had an interpersonal relationship with myself. Let me show up. My neighbors actually complained of noise last night. So as you guys can probably see, I am ashy because I just came out the shower. Give me two seconds before I smoke that you. <laughs> I decided because I'm going to sleep, I'm going to just pop this camera on. I do my skincare on camera because I was actually quite literally, maybe potentially in tears last night about something. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to talk about it to the camera because maybe they're going through the same thing. I got my robe on. I turn my swag on. And I'm ready to go. First things first, my lips was ashy, so I put that on there. If you know, you know, and if you don't, you broke. Next, I'm going in with the Peach Slices Snail Rescue Blemish Busting Toner. So anyways, you might be asking, like, what, what on earth was, like, rocking you yesterday, Stacey? And I'm going to tell you something. Self-doubt. I was really, really down on myself last night. Like, I, I was just, like, in a place where I was just like, you know what? I'm not cut out for this. I am not who I thought I was. I actually don't have the actual potential to do anything. And I'm a failure. I'm just a failure. I'm actually going to dermaplane for the first time with actual blades. I've been dermaplaning. You know those eyebrow razors? Yeah. And I heard that's really, really bad for you. So I got like actual medical grade dermaplaning blades from Amazon so that I can actually do this right and do my skin right. Cause you know what? My skin can't have the best out of best. And I'll link them down below. I'll link all this stuff down below. You know I got you. Woo! Sex, I'm serious. Finish! <laughs> You're the drama, babe. I know. I'm gonna dermaplane with oil just because I have really sensitive skin and mineral eye for breakout. Yeah, last night I was kind of like struggling with feelings of self-doubt. So first things first, I asked myself, what is self-doubt? Like, who is it? Who is this shorty? And why is she in my room? Where does she come from? So when I was thinking about where self-doubt comes from, I thought about past, like the past. Woo! First swipe. When I was a kid, I feel like I was born a star. It was just me. Like, I'm just her. Like, I'm the only person who exists. Like, everybody's feeding me. Everybody's taking care of me. Like, I'm just that girl. Like, no one can tell me otherwise. Like, period, 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 period. My name was in light. S-T-A-C-Y-T-H-I-R-U. Boom. The start of Wahala in my life was when I had to start to go to school. Mind you guys, when I was a kid, I wasn't actually, like, analyzing things like this. But this is what I'm analyzing as a 23-year-old adult that is looking back to the past. But as a kid, you go to school. You see a bunch of kids. You're wondering, do I like them? Do I want to be their friend? Friend? Do I want to get to know them? Do I want to chill with them? Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm approaching this girl, this boy, and they don't even want to approach me back. What if, what if, what is what's good with me? Do they want to be my friend? Let's get into that. When you're a young adult, when you're in high school, when you're in college, you start to wonder, how can I fit in? Am I likable to these group of people? Am I that guy? Am I that girl? Am I a loser? Am I a winner? Which one am I? Because I don't know. They treat me like I'm a loser and I thought I was that gal. <laughs> I need to take down the lights and pull up LED lights instead. Self-doubt comes from a place of maybe not necessarily someone making you feel lesser than you are, but someone making you feel like you're not who you thought you were. You know what I mean? That could be a parent. That could be a coworker. That could be a friend in college. That could be anything. That could be someone who just told you, you know what I mean? You're not that cool. Like someone that made you think like, wait, 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 wait. Question who you are as a person. That's where the seed is sown. And when a seed is sown, it's gonna reap. Especially if you put a little bit of water on that seed, a little bit of sunlight on that seed. It doesn't gotta be a lot. As long as you're thinking about it a little bit. Is, is what they said about me true? Am I really that? Spelling, am I really that? Am I really that? <laughs> 
As long as you're thinking about it even a little bit, that's that, that water that seed needs, that sunshine that seed needs to grow and grow and be this beautiful, beautiful tree trunk that is self-doubt. It's not beautiful, actually, if I'm being honest. The places that we start to go and the things that these people who are in these places start to say start to become a reflection of what we think about ourselves. They start to become ingrained into our subconscious. Now, I'm gonna exercise my psychology degree for two seconds. Mind you, I've been out of school for a little bit, so correct me if I'm wrong, current psychologists, but the subconscious makes up a majority of your mind. The conscious mind is what you're thinking right now. Like, I'm thinking to myself right now, how do I dermaplane? What did a person say to do while dermaplaning? Like, what angle do I gotta do this at? Like, that's my conscious mind. Think information I need to know to, to perform what I'm performing right now. The subconscious mind is the part of your mind that stores what the conscious mind has perceived so it's gonna it's like it's more so deep like it's like your dreams your feelings your experiences your past like things that shape the person who you are today imagine if the things that pe if you keep backing imagine if the things that people tell you about yourself and the, the doubt they instill in you start to register in your brain as true now they're in your subconscious mind they are ringing and it's not just good, like this it's ringing it's ringing it's ringing mama <laughs> mama if this part of my brain that's eating this information up makes up 90% of my brain, what the, what the, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Let it eat us up? That's what me and you are doing right now. I brought you in so some of your weirdos can get a closer look. I know you wanted one. Once self-doubt kind of gets itself into your subconscious, it has a way of not even needing other people to constantly be putting things into it to make it tell itself that these things are true. You get to a point where like, you don't need anybody else to tell you that you're not equipped for the job. You're telling yourself this, stick a butt. Okay, I think I did a pretty grand spanking job and I think I'm done with the blade, so I'm gonna put you away, baby. I'll put you away. The important thing that I had to understand about self-doubt is that it's a dance I'm going to have to deal with for the rest of my life. Wow, this is bunny on y'all, it's bonning. Oh. You guys are probably gonna watch this video and be like, oh, she ate down. But I've been thinking the same thing when I hear myself speak. Then the next season of self-doubt comes and I just think I fail and I doubt myself again. Like, I was like, how come that didn't work the first time? It's like, it's not going to always work how you thought it was going to work. Lock in, sweetie pie. Not only is self-doubt a thing that's always going to exist, it's always, 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 girl, pick a word and pick how many times you're gonna say it. And don't say it again. Self-doubt is, is going to be something that's always occurring in your life. And the point in which you're not experiencing self-doubt is because you're experiencing self-confidence. These two, they are best friends. They dance all the time. Actually, they're arch nemesis, but they do be doing a dance. But the whole point of this video is to make this dance a little less of a gyrating hip hop, pop funk kind of dance and more of like a contemporary jazz. You know what I mean? Like, let's do a plie. This is the Kiehl's Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Face Mask. So then you start to ask yourself, what is confidence and why don't I have any of that right now? Like, what's going with me right now that I don't got some of that? And what is some of that? And how do I get some? Think about it. What does it mean? You tell me. Who do you think has self-confidence? Think about three people right now. Three people who you think have self-confidence. What made you think they had self-confidence? Because they walk a certain way? Because they dress a certain way? Because they act a certain way? Like, what made you think that they have self-confidence? I don't know where we learned it from. I don't know if it's social media or what, where, when, why, how. But I think the automatic assumption that we make about self-confidence is like it looks like a girl who knows how to dress and she's comfortable on her skin and she walks at work and she talks at talk the reality of the situation is that we have a skewed view of self-confidence self-confidence in our heads is when someone carries themselves a certain way in reality self-confidence causes you to carry yourself a certain way like you having self-confidence makes you carry yourself like the people who you just named is it all make sense? Does it make sense? Let me cook, let me cook, let me cook. Give me a second to cook. Give me a second to cook because it's cooking. I feel like when I was younger, I had such a skewed view of confidence. It was like, I'm listening to songs like um, Confident by Justin Bieber and it's like, tattoos, earrings, and she just learned to twerk. She got it. This man said, what's your nationality? I wonder if there's more of it. Okay, what's her nationality? What made you ask that? Cause her hair is curly and her skin's brown. Like what, what made you ask that? Talking about how she can dance and that also oh, the way that I dance, the way that I shake my rump. My rumple still skin is making you think I'm a confident person. I mean, I have tattoos, I have piercings, and I just learned to twerk. Does that make me a confident person? 
Listen, I'm still fighting that demon. And like, I'm still fighting that demon. So why? Am I dysfunctional? Or why? First things first on getting self-confidence, you have to fix your view of what self-confidence is. A lot of you DM me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Come over here. Like, Sissy, how are you so confident? Like, how did you get this confidence? Baby, I, 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 I am confident. But I, it was something that was built. Like, it was something that I, you know what I mean? Like, it was like, and I had to get out the mud. But the, the thing with getting out the mud is, in the beginning, I had a skewed view of what confidence really is. You get me? I thought confidence was walking a certain way, talking a certain way, having a certain suave in the way that you act, the way that you dress. I had this idea of confidence that was very superficial. It was what you are, what you wear, what you dress like. So if you if you would have asked me before, I would have told you I'm a, I was a confident person. I was I was a confident teen, I was a confident young adult, and that's just that, like I'm confident. But what made me confident? Cause you got likes on Insta, you're not confident, babe. Let's be real. Should I put some right here? Is this weird? That's this is empty. When I realized that I struggle with self-confidence, I was literally on top of the world. I thought I was that girl, right? I had just moved to California to be in a content house. I'm like 21, like I'm doing what I want to do. I'm having fun, I'm living life. I'm getting a little bit of coin, a little bit of pesos. And I'm spending on myself and now because I have the money to spend on clothes, I'm dressing the way I want to dress. I'm like, hey, I'm stepping, I'm stepping, I'm stepping. So now I'm thinking, yeah, I'm, I'm confident, I'm confident. I was on my way to graduate school and I did graduate school. I had a boyfriend at the time that I was dealing with before I had moved to LA. Now because I'm here thinking I'm confident, girl, I just I dress the dress, I do the thing, I do the thing. Like there's just like the, the man's in love, like the man them too, you know what I mean? Like he's he's hooked. Then the whole time I'm here, I'm getting ding, 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 ding. Coming to you as a woman, coming to you as a woman, coming to you as a woman, coming to me as a woman, you're coming to me as a dog. It was girls texting me telling me what they're doing with my men and what they will continue to do with my men. So I was like, wow. Read it. That situation in and of itself was enough for me to break down. You've moved to LA. They're paying you to live in a house and make content. You're living a good, you're living in the Hollywood Hills. You're from your room. You can see the Hollywood sign. You're literally doing so good at 21 years old, but you let a man who you didn't even, in retrospect, love to begin with, make you feel like you weren't anything. It broke on your confidence so much that here comes self-doubt. What did I do? Where do I lack? Where am I? You know what I mean? You start to look at yourself differently. You start to question the person who you always thought that you were. And from there, I let self-doubt take the driver's seat. Like it was driving the dance. You know how there's always like a lead in the dance and then there's someone who follows the dance? Self-doubt was driving that dance. Now I'm sitting here, I'm working out. I'm trying to, you know, get another bag, do another thing. Like, hmm, who knows, maybe I'll get three degrees. I had to ask myself, Stacy. This feeling of doubt is really showing that that confidence that you said you had, that you were walking like you had, was completely fraudulent. Because if it was actually real, if it was built on a firm foundation, it wouldn't have come down just like that. Like it would have been standing strong. It would have been on some, you know, man left. Okay, it's raining men, move on. Like it would have been on that type of time. But instead, you're sitting here and you're questioning yourself. The same person you've known for 20 years of your life. You don't know who she is anymore. You're not eating, but you're working out every day. To achieve what? Me, I don't know. You're depressed, you're staying in bed all day. And all because of what? It literally had me thinking that this situation that I'm in, I can actually never, never, ever, ever in this life allow myself to feel the way that I felt that time. I'm not even just getting cheated on, not that feeling, but the feeling of letting somebody come into my home, into my own mental space and break me down to the point where I'm even questioning a person who I've always known, who I've always had an interpersonal relationship with myself. So it made me question, what is self-confidence? Where is mine? Confidence, according to Google, is the feeling or belief that you can rely on someone or something. A firm trust. Okay, now just put self in front of it. Self is just, you make it by yourself. Like, come on, keep up. It's the feeling or belief that you can rely on yourself. A firm trust in yourself. Now, I like to break things down even more than that. What does rely mean? Rely means that you can count on it. To depend on with full trust or confidence. Okay, so there's a couch behind me. I jump on it. It doesn't break. So now I know that I can rely on this couch because it didn't break for me the last time. So it's not gonna break for me now. I, I can rely on that couch. I have confidence and trust in the fact that that couch is going to be there for me, right? Some of you rely on your friends. For your car broke down, your friend came through. You had a breakup, your friend came through. You can rely on your friends. Some of you can rely on your parents. Your parents are always there for you no matter what. But can some of you rely on yourself? That's what I fucking thought. That's what I fucking thought! Why? Why? 
But guys, when I tell you, when this hit me, I was like, yeesh, yeesh. I've been in this body for 21 years and I can't even like, rely on myself to be there for myself. I'm breaking down and it took one dolly dicky to just come and just kick my whole shit out. It can't be, it, I'm, I'm, this, I'm being deceived. I thought about it and I thought about it as, think about yourself at age five, like a younger oh. age, right? A time where you're innocent, you know nothing, you haven't experienced anything. Think about that kid as your kid, like someone that's not you, like it's, it's your child, it's your you. Imagine you had a child, you know, going to school and getting bullied and thinking less of themselves and your child comes crying to you and then you say, I, I actually can't. You focus on something else because the child, you just can't focus on the child's emotions. You can't just, you can't just talk to the emotions. You don't have time for it. Move on. The child needs to eat. Middle at, the, the kitchen, I don't, mm. please child, please go back to the room. Some of you guys are sitting there like, I would never do my kid like that. And let me say something. You would never do your kid like that, but you do that to yourself. Uh, it broke me down to know that that little girl, baby Stacy or baby you, is not eating some days because someone made her doubt herself. I'm not listening to the emotion she's feeling. I'm just letting her wallow away in bed. I'm letting the self-doubt that I'm feeling eat me up and tell me that everything that it's saying to me is true. I'm a, I'm a waste. I'm a youth. I'm, 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 a, I'm a waste. I'm an absolute waste. Like, that's just all I'm going to be and that's that. I'm letting her feel that way. That's when I tell you guys that shit broke down. That day, I literally sat there like this for I don't know how long, and I just hugged myself. Like, I was hugging baby Stacey. I told her, I'm not, I'm not gonna let you down. I'm not gonna let you down. I'm never gonna let those thoughts eat me the way that they ate me up, chewed me up. Can you rely on yourself to be there for yourself? And I'm not talking about just being there because you have always been there for yourself. You're the only person who's been in your own body for all the years that you've lived. So obviously, duh, you're there for yourself because you're there for yourself physically, but are you there absent-mindedly? Yes, babe, I need you to lock in. I need you to deep your feelings, okay? Talk to yourself, like, you know what I mean? Like, really feel the feelings, okay? Like, you're gonna obviously have friends and family and stuff like that, but you're the only person who is going to 100% of the time always be there to watch over the younger, the younger version of you. So never slack, never lack. When she sleeps, that's when you sleep. But when she's up, wake up, lock in. It's time to babysit. I also heard somebody make this analogy in a different way, but this was like after I already went through it. It would have been nice if you came up with this a little bit earlier, babe. But anyways, <laughs> she said, close your eyes. Um, close your eyes with me, come, come on, close your eyes. Think about yourself in a really cold terrain, like snow is falling, there's ice on the floor, you've been walking for miles and miles and miles trying to find some warmth. You're lost. You don't have anything, anything to eat. You don't have anything. At all. You're confused. You're delirious. The frostbite is biting. Okay, let me stop with the sensory. You see a cabin in the distance, a light. It takes you a long time to walk towards it, but you finally get there. And when you do, somebody opens the door. As they open the door, you start to see that there's multiple people in this cabin. And you're looking around and you're like, I know you from somewhere. And you, and you. Then you realize everybody in the cabin is you at different ages. There's one year old you, there's 17 year old you, there goes 35 year old you. They sit you down and they start tending to you. One of them's rubbing your hands, make sure your fingers don't fall off. They're, 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 they're blue, black and blue. You ain't got no blood. One of them's taking out the icicles out your hair, braiding you up, braiding you down. Some of them are sitting at your feet, just talking to you. Imagine what type of conversations you would be having with these multiple different versions of you. The little ones would be like, you know what? What happened to that dream that we had to be a X, Y, and Z? The older ones would probably be like, keep it up. Like you keep, you got this. You know what I mean? Like you do pressure to that one thing and you and that man, then you're not even gonna work. <laughs> so let it go now. <laughs> you know, imagine the way that your self doubt that you're having right now is affecting these different versions of yourself. Cause I feel like as humans, we tend to care about other people more than we care about ourselves. If we saw somebody else, I mean, depending on who you are, you might be a maniac, you might be a narcissist, but anyway. I feel like most times as humans, we tend to be a little bit selfless in terms of like, like I won't eat all day, like I'll neglect myself, but if you know, like my friend is like, I'm mad hungry, we're gonna go find food, but it's like, I've been sitting out here hungry, I didn't do anything, you know what I mean? Like it's like, we're more willing to take care of the people around us than we are of ourselves. So I feel like we might sympathize with these different versions of ourselves more. So listen to the things that they're telling you. Do you want the self doubt to eat you up so much that the little one is like, damn. So the little thing that that one person told us that made us feel insecure, not enough that made us feel like we would never amount to anything that actually was true <clears throat> the older ones are probably on some if you just didn't let this self doubt eat you up if you actually kept doing what you wanted to do with yourself we wouldn't be in the positions that we are in right now you're not happy because you let self doubt eat you alive you let other people's opinions of you become reflections of yourself in your own head you get what i'm saying is this analogy resonating with anybody in the crowd 
or am I just a... Uh... Okay, guys, I'm gonna wash this off my face and then I'm gonna come right back. We're back and we're dry again. First, the lips. I wanna go in with the Remy's, but I'm going to bed, so I'm not gonna put that on. I got the Kiehl's Butter Mask for lips, so I'm gonna try that out today. These versions of myself that I saw made me feel like I need to get it together. If it's not for me, then it's for them. I started to lock in on my feeling of self-confidence. How do I get it back? How do I be the girl who I've always wanted to be? How do I be the girl that I lost along the way? What do I do? How do I do it? You need to take out people from your life who make you doubt yourself. You're in that situation, that, that, that job, that house, that relationship in which somebody constantly made you question yourself, your worth, your appearance. Now this is kind of like on you to gauge whether their critiques are coming from like a loving place or they're just like they have they don't have any of your interests in mind and most times babe they don't have your interests in mind. That is a verbally abusive situation that you're in babe. You're sitting there you're doubting yourself constantly. Self-doubt manifests itself in a way that it's not even just little anymore babe. You're gonna start to hate yourself. As long as your peace is tampered with, I don't think there's any reason why you shouldn't have to cut anybody off. Don't, don't make anybody feel like their presence is, you know, a make or break in your life. If they're messing your peace with your medulla blancarte, get out of here, man. Editing Stacey here. First of all, I want to acknowledge the fact that my cream on my face is balling up into little beady beads that are all over my face. Like, that's what the white specks are. And it's really, really disrespectful because it's never done that before. Like, but the one time I decided to record my skincare, this is what it wants to do. And I didn't see it until now. Act like you don't see it. Cross your eyes. Cross your eyes. I feel like when I was making this video, I didn't really explain why the new defined definition of self-confidence was important. After you take out the stimulus for your self-doubt, whatever caused your self-doubt, whether it's a person or whatever it is, you're already starting to rely on yourself, Pookie, or you're respecting your own boundaries and kicking them next to car. The confidence doesn't stop there. Try your very best to be there for yourself in terms of have a conversation with yourself. And if you have to talk out loud, do it. I do it. Don't be shy. Try your best to negate what these people have put into your head. Let's just say you were trying to get a job and then you didn't get the job be like i feel like a failure okay well why do you feel like a failure because i didn't get the job okay did you not get the job because you're not good at the job or did you not get the job because there was someone else that was better at it than me maybe the employer didn't have any malice towards me maybe they just had a better fit then you can use that as a tool to be like how can i improve myself so the next time i apply for a job like this i can potentially have a better chance at getting the job you know what i mean try your best to negate what that person put into your head two things are going to happen either you're going to realize that whatever doubt they instilled inside your head is completely untrue or you're going to realize there's a place that you can grow remember you're always in the season for a reason like you would never find yourself in a place where there's not something that you can learn from even pain that's happening around you i'm gonna refer to the b-i-b-l-e i'm so sorry i'm actually not sorry at all dear brothers and sisters when troubles of any kind come your way consider it an opportunity for great joy for you know that when your faith is tested your endurance has a chance to grow wow there's some emotions that i go through that i've dealt with so much before that instead of letting them defeat me i've learned how to cope with it learned how to negate it to the point where my endurance has grown so much like so much that next time this this demon comes around i'm tussling and it's easy boom, boom pow you're done what do you want more because i got some more in the bank verse 5 goes on to say if you need wisdom ask your generous god and he will give it to you he will not rebuke, rebuke you for asking ask for help can't hurt you know what i mean but when you ask and be sure that your faith is in god alone do not waver for a person divided in loyalty is unsettled as a wave that is blown and tossed by the wind oh if you have any doubt trust in god completely and don't have any second guesses that he will come through for you why would you be like god please help me and then continue to worry in the same breath like you don't actually believe in him like how am i gonna help you when i know you think i'm a fraudulent god like what anyways but I also thought about this in a sense where I said earlier in the video how your confidence, if it's built from the ceiling down rather than from the firm foundation up, when someone comes and hits this building of yours, you're gonna start to doubt yourself because these things that are on the surface have nothing to sit on. You're gonna start to get tossed by the wind, babe. Guess what happens when you get tossed by the wind? Knockout. Period. <laughs> People do like daily affirmations and I've been trying to get a hang of that but something about looking at yourself in the mirror and talking to yourself at the same time makes me feel really crazy. Like, I don't know what about it. I talk to myself anyway, but talking to myself in the mirror and like seeing myself talk to myself is like, damn, did you really talk to yourself? Try it. I've been trying to try it. I'm gonna let you guys know how I feel about that. But that is a good way to start off your day to, to put self-confidence in the lead of the dance at the beginning of the day. Say, I can do it. You don't always have to be like, I'm strong, I'm powerful, I can do everything. I get that's how people be uh, doing self-affirmations, but I dare us be like, you did that yesterday. You did that yesterday, so why can't you do it today? No reason, get up. 
Let's go, let's eat today up, bro. Try to remain positive, you know? Like, keep it light, keep it friendly with yourself. Even if you feel like you can't do today, be like, you know what, Sage, you did, you did yesterday. So what's stopping you from doing today? Don't do that. Think about future you. She's not gonna be, she's not gonna be making bread if you don't go to work today. Get up. I also set really small tasks. I feel like I told you this in my last video. I get really, really overwhelmed with big tasks that are given to me. And I don't know what that is about my brain. I don't know. Call it ADHD. Call it what you want. I don't know. I set myself small tasks that are all like baby steps into the direction of the big goal that I have for myself. So like, I'm just going to do this today. And I like hyper motivate myself to do this one little thing. In the past, I used to try to be like, okay, today we're going to do these 10 things and get it done. And when I don't do the 10 things, I only manage to get to three. I feel really, really shit about myself. And then I'm just like, now there you go self doubt is in my head set small things things that you can swallow you want to eat chew swallow you don't want to choke stop choking yourself remember the whole like love yourself like remember the whole like to be there for yourself let this not be the last version of you don't kill yourself for like don't <laughs> but with these tasks that you set with yourself remember that sometimes we get so attached to the different outcomes that we see happening like we just tell ourselves like we're gonna become this and we're gonna do that and today we're gonna do this and boom like you get so attached to the version of yourself that does these crazy things that you come up with that when you don't become those versions of yourself like when you just don't achieve these tasks at all you feel like an absolute failure don't become too attached to the endings today you may do what you set out to do and today and you may not and, and if it never happens it was never meant to be like let's just be light with ourselves let's be caring let's be soft let's be kind there obviously there's that aspect of consistency and being disciplined and not letting yourself continually fall short until a point where like you're just your dreams are actually ruined and crushed and you don't actually go anywhere and being easy on yourself like knowing that like i was just really like i just couldn't get to that fifth thing that i you know planned to do today like you didn't do a you did an okay job today you wiped your ass congratulations the things you had planned for yourself today may not always go to plan and it's fine at the end of the day god is the only person who knew what was gonna happen today he's the only one you may claim you know from you know you you're a genie in the bottle but babe christina Guerrera, shut up she's the only one who knew what was gonna happen today so the fact that you didn't accomplish that it's okay you, knew, you didn't know you were going to, you thought you were going to. Don't beat yourself up because of a thought. You didn't know. Also guys, like a, a side no, a little tangy wangy, a little tangent. If you're a woman and you experience menstrual cycles, look into that because there's four stages of a menstrual cycle. And depending on the stage that you're in, it may be why you feel like you're doubting yourself. Like you feel low energy. You just feel like you can't even. Like you feel like you're just like, uh. I had been crying my eyes out last night, filled with self-doubt, filled with the spirit of I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. When I checked what phase I was in of my period, it was the luteal phase. And the luteal phase, it's associated with lower levels of... I think protesterone, I don't know what it is, but that makes you feel low energy. Like you can't do anything. Like you feel sad, you feel mood swings, you feel this, you feel that. That's why I was feeling like that. So if you're a woman, lock in with the four period cycles because it may be the reason why you feel the way that you feel. Like you may be self-confident some days and then doubt in other days. And it's okay, again, be kind to yourself, know yourself. Okay guys, um, my camera's about to die and I really wanna go to sleep. So I'm gonna talk to you when I'm gonna talk to you and I'm gonna talk to you uh, maybe next Friday or something like that. I absolutely love you and I hope you hold yourself tight. I hope what I said resonates with you in some way and I hope you feel better after hearing what I've said. Sorry, <laughs> this is so corny of me, but I have a playlist on my Spotify. I'll link my Spotify down below, but I have a playlist called God, I Need Help. And it's a bunch of Christian songs that kind of got me through that little phase. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe and hit the post notification bell down below so you get the notification whenever I post. I'm gonna go sleep now. Actually, I'm gonna go to the store and get some candy. <laughs> Make future me happy, period. <laughs> I love you guys and I'll talk to you later. Adios, amigos. Rock out. Rock out. Rock on. Or like this. Rock on. <laughs> I wanna ride.